This video presents how to manage the content of the linked libraries, especially the embedded library parts. Let's open the Library Manager and switch to the Content tab of the Embedded Library. Embedded objects exist only in that particular project and can be used only in that project. You can rename the embedded elements. Let's select any of the embedded objects or one of the folders from the right window and enter the new name. Let's see the function buttons on the Content tab page. Click the first icon to create a new folder within the Embedded Library folder. Click the second icon to add a new folder to the Embedded Library. In the appearing dialog, you can browse for an existing network or local folder. Click the third icon to add new object file to the selected Embedded Library folder. By using the fourth icon, you can duplicate the selected object or folders. The new object with the new name and an assigned separate GUID appears alongside the original object in the Embedded Library folder. With the next icon, you can move the object from one folder to another. To do this, select the object and click the Move icon. Use the appearing dialog to browse for a location to move the object to. Click the last Delete icon to remove objects from the embedded library. Find the Export and Info buttons on the right. Click Export to export the selected library items into a local folder. And then click Info or Information about selected library items. You can use drag and drop from any location on your computer to add new items or folders to the embedded library. By using drag and drop, you can also easily reorganize your embedded library folder and file structure on both sides of the content tab page. If you press the control on Windows or the command button on Mac, you can easily move a copy to another folder. By using multi-selection, only the rename field and the info button become inactive in gray. All other functions can still be used. For the left side tree view and the right side list view, you can also activate the context menu with the right click as well. Here you can also find most of the functions mentioned earlier. Let's select one of the linked libraries now. Linked libraries cannot be edited from the Content tab page. All of the management commands, except the Duplicate, Export, and Info buttons, are grayed out. Use a file explorer outside of Library Manager to manage these linked library folders.